Hey everyone, today we have a special segment. Yes, I have a secret, been holding on to it, and now it's time to share it. I was gonna kind of put it on a, one of my classes, on the videos, but I really couldn't wait because I really wanted to share this with you all. So some of you know that I have been painting for a very long time, had three stores and painted and sold thousands of pieces of furniture. And when I first started painting, we didn't have a lot of choices um, when it comes to, you know, furniture painting. Everybody always told me, you know, you no need to prep, no need to do anything, just lather this paint on and, you know, you're done. Well, you learn as you go and you come to find out that is not always the truth. Um, and when I first started painting, you know, especially when it came to flipping furniture, it was always truck paint. And then, um, we had different brands of, you know, truck paint. And then there was milk paint and all the, all these different kind of paints that were great for furniture. One thing that I'm going to say that I wish that somebody taught me was, you know, you just can't really put paint on furniture like that because prepping is so important. So I don't want to bore you guys, you know, making this video too long, but I'm so excited about this that I'm going to share it with you. So I've been using a very special paint for a few years now, and it was really hard for me to say do a switch or change because in my mind, and maybe some of you understand this, when you've been using something for a long time and if it's not broken, you know, why change it? And I was so stubborn about it that, no, this is the only paint, you know, that I'm gonna, gonna use. And um, I wasn't interested, you know, by anybody else telling me about their paints that they use or anything like that because I was so stuck on, you know, my paint. I have tried a lot of different paint and also you know when it comes to even uh cabinet paint you know or just regular paint from uh sharon williams or benjamin moore you know if, if you're a sprayer you know we kind of use that paint there's a lot of prep work you know when it comes to that so i've also used that uh there is a great uh bear uh, they call it chalk their chalk finish um, that's pretty neat, you know, is it the best I'm going to say, you know, especially like on high traffic furniture? I don't know, you know, it all, again, it, it really depends. Um, so with this paint that I'm about to, about to let you guys know is this woman who owns the company has been around a long time. She also started with her own painted furniture, had stores and everything before, you know, she, you know, did the paint. Um, the paint's been around a, a good a good amount of time, and I don't know if everybody knows about it. You know, we all go to the ones that we know of, but every paint is different, and every paint that you buy, um, it, it's not necessarily always for you know if you're whatever you're working on, it might not be right for that piece. So sometimes if you're stuck with that one paint, that, again, that paint might not be for that dresser because of the wood or maybe the finish or th there's so many things. And you will learn that as you go. Um, so I then now wanted to talk to you about Blackberry House Paint. They are located in uh, Tennessee. And what's so great about this paint it is acrylic and it's made for furniture the it's not too thick it's not watery i can't explain it it's like buying a really brand name great name you know on uh, the big box stores of you know your gallons of paint you know i can't even explain it so i've painted uh, like I said, thousands of pieces and sold. Uh, but this particular paint right now is hands down my favorite paint. You might ask, well, why are you sharing it now? 
Well, I'm sharing it now because since I moved to Texas, I am not going to be opening up a store here. I've got other plans uh, that I want to do and especially also uh, teach and instruct classes, workshop classes online. And yes, I will be using this brand and I, I want to talk about it. I did talk to the owner. By the way, Polly is a wonderful person. Talk about great customer service. Whatever you need, you know, she's there for you with any questions. Um, it, it, it's been a great experience working with her for these years. And now that I get to share this with you, um, I hope that you too can give this paint uh, a try. You know, especially if you guys are painters out there, give this literally a paint a try because you probably won't go back to what you used before and then take that from me. Um, if you're just starting, you know, they've, she's got such a great selection when it comes to sizes and prices. I had referred a lot of folks um, to her site and everything else, but we partner now. So what I'm doing is Reva Chic is going to be offering a coupon. Okay, so um, make sure that you stay at the end because at the end of this video, the website where you can purchase her products um, as well as the coupon code that you have to use at the end uh, for checkout and any other little information that you might need. But you will receive a 15% off uh, by entering that coupon, which is great. And by the way, she only ships in the United States. So everywhere in the United States right now, there is no international shipping, just so that you know. So what I wanted to do is go over uh, colors with you just so that you can see. So I painted each little, little sample here so that you can see them live because when they put the colors on like on top of this, they're not always exact, you know, to the same. Just like if you ever, you know, go to a big box store and you get your little color swatches, it's really never the same. Um, but these, these are I, to the T of what these colors look like. And also just wanted to let you know that make sure that you uh, keep an eye out. There's going to be another video. I've used probably, I, I can't even tell you how many of these colors I painted with. But I'm going to actually show you live pictures of my pieces that I sold um, to customers or maybe I did a commission piece for somebody. That way that you can actually see a photo of the color because some of these color, it doesn't even do it justice of what it looks like on your piece of furniture. So with all that, I just want to go over uh, a couple of things and prices with you so that you know uh, what all this. So her biggest bottle is a 32 ounce. It looks like this. Okay. And it's nice. I mean, this, this is how it ships to you. So, you know, when you get it, it's nice and secure. I love the fact, you know, that these are like, you know, plastic. Um, it's really nice. So her big bottle here is $38. And then don't forget, you know, you get your 15% off as well at checkout, but you might be buying multiple things. Um, but this is her big bottle. So there's also a tester. So say that you want this color, you really love the color that you saw, but you just kind of want to test it. Well, you're in luck. These are called the tester bottles. So that she puts the name on here for you. And then these little guys, these are two ounces and they're four dollars. The next one up is a six ounce and that's $14. I don't have an example of a uh, six ounce. I never had to buy a six ounce. I normally will go for a 16 depending and then always 32. I have to always have my 32s uh, wherever I'm at, especially the popular colors, which I will go through that with you as well. Um, this little guy, he is, here's a 16 ounce and that's $25. The paint goes a long way. It's, it's smooth. It's silky. Um, I, I can't explain, you know, I'm not doing a class on how it works today, but hopefully in the future I will be putting, I'm right now, as of right now, I'm putting some classes out, but I would like to, you know, show you guys how to use this and how great it is and looks on your furniture. A lot of my customers love, they always wanted to know what paint I used. 
And then I also had customers where if I have this in my store in the back, they wanted a color. I've always sold it to them um, because it's there, you know. So some of them um, did buy, but that was not frequent because they've always wanted me to paint their pieces. <laughs> So I've never seen this anywhere like this, but um, she sells a layering wax bar. Phenomenal, great, great, great product. So I have extras. Normally when I open this up and use it, I put it in a little Ziploc like sandwich bag, but I have to always have this around. So this is when you're doing layers of different colors. Um, so say that your uh, base color, you're going to have a teal but then you want um, black on top of it. But when, once you're done, you want that teal to go through the black, right? Well, this is what you put on your teal color, okay? Just, uh, it's like a soap bar. You just put it on there and leave it. And if it has little like little chunks of the wax like stick, that's fine because that's even more perfect because once you start sanding that, all of that is going to start and that's what, you know, where the layering comes from. So you're really distressing that. And then um, you would put your, say, your black paint over that, let that dry and then take your sander and sand it off. And it's just, it's beautiful. So this is another great product. Uh, the Larry, this wax, Larry wax is $8. Okay. So again, when you go to the site, you will see this. Now with... Uh, Blackberry House Paint, they have a paste wax. So if you're accustomed to waxes, um, this is similar but different. I, I love this. This is hands down to me better than any wax I've used. So, and I like the smell of it, but that's what it kind of looks like. And then you don't need a lot of this. You don't even need a brush to put this on. You use a cloth. So you'll use a um, lint-free cloth and then just rub it in. And the, while you're rubbing in, you're actually doing the same, like the buffing, but it's so easy. It doesn't get hard on you where you're like, oh my God, do I need to get the buffer machine out? None of that. It is phenomenal, but the plus to all this, Blackberry House Paint is so strong when it dries that you really don't need to seal like the legs or the sides or anything. I do highly recommend sealing any tops that have high traffic. So if, if it's really high traffic, they also sell um, a like a polyacrylic. All this is water-based. That's what you would put on that. I, I only put wax on top if I'm distressing a piece that's already distressed. And this kind of brightens up your distress look. And also, if the table's not getting a, like high traffic, you know, too much of the traffic. But if it's distressed and stuff like that, that's fine. Because it becomes so hard. I still, myself, personally, have tables that I've painted a few years back. They are like, it's like they get harder all the, I mean, it's like, it's, it's perfect. They've been moved a couple times in different states and, you know, it, it's just, you know, great. Yes, you do have to be careful. It's still paint, right? So you don't want to jab it in the wall or anything like, just like, you know, wall paint. If you hit it really hard, that paint is going to move, crack, whatever. So furniture is the same way. So just make sure that you take care of your piece. But this is a great product. Okay. So. I got that covered. Uh, she's got so many other products, guys. I don't have them on me because when I left uh, Louisiana, I must have, you know, obviously used them all and all that kind of stuff. And now I'm not doing that much of it. So I thought I had some, but I don't. But we're going to go straight into uh, the colors. But before I go into the colors, remind you again, stay till the end so you can get the website information, where you put, get, uh, get these products please go through the website. A lot of great information of who they are. Again, they only ship in the United States. Um, and then also the coupon code uh, that you can use um, for your 15% off, okay? So I'm gonna go, we have a lot of colors, okay? So um, she's got a lot of more colors. We've I've got 55 right now to go through with you. And it'll be really quick. I'm just gonna go, you know. 
Um, there were more, there's more, but some are discontinued, um, or she's not going to have them anymore. So, um, and it, they're going to be removed. So I didn't even bother with those few. Um, so everything I have that we're going to go through is on the website. And, uh, like I said, in the next few days, I'll be working on a video of my own pictures that I've done, uh, for customers or, you know, for the stores, uh, that I sold, uh, in the three locations. So I'll put all that together. Yep. Okay. So the number one color in all locations that people loved was warm milk. Warm milk, it sounds just like, I mean, that's what it looks like. It's like warm milk. It is a beautiful white creamy color. It's just rich. If you go to my Facebook page at Reva Chic, you actually can see anything that you see white is made from this. So this is a very, very popular color when it came to my sales for customers that bought pieces, distressed pieces, even commissioned pieces. Uh, this is the, and I think everywhere, everybody loves warm milk. So this is a great, great color, okay? Next one is Gravel Road. How pretty is that? Again, I'll have pictures uh, for a lot of these colors that are coming up because I've done so many uh, projects in, uh, in this paint. Granny's Apron. And a lot of these look great even like with dark waxes and stuff like that. So I might even show you like this one here, um, Granny's Apron, I've done with uh, dark wax, which is the brown wax. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. We got Kissy Face. It's like a very, very light pink, like a pastel pink. It's adorable. I do have a photo of this. Maybe I'll just tell you all the photos that are coming. Vintage Teal, another one of my favorites. I also have a photo to show you of this. Pet Peacock. I think I have a photo of this. Mason Jar is my favorite. Um, I love, love this color. Um, and I, I believe I do have photos. Yeah, I keep all my photos. Morning Dew. Very light, like a very light blue, like a baby blue. It's really pretty. And what I love about this color is too, when you put a little bit of ceruzing wax or a white wax, oh my gosh, I have a picture um, with that as well. Silver Streak. It's okay. So it literally looks like a silvery gray and, um, it stands out. It's not like over, I mean, it's just, it's a very pretty gray. I actually painted, which I wish I had still the photo. I painted kitchen cabinets in this color instead of like using, going to a lighter, darker gray. This color is really pretty. Sunny day. I love this color. So I just recently did um, a second guest room. It is posted on my Facebook page at Reva Chic. If you go back on some post, you can't miss uh, this yellow. I, I just love it. So this is sunny day. It's like a pastel yellow. Sunday suit is a deep like blue. It's really pretty. I do have a photo of this. Um, and it, it, it just on a piece of furniture, or if you're going to do some gold gilding wax or any other gold leaf, it's just so, it's like a pop. It's a beautiful color. Stormy weather. It's like a, like a gravel gray, I'm going to say. Another really pretty gray. One thing about Blackberry paint, there's so many, like, I'm not going in order right now, but the colors of you know, the different colors of blues and greens and all that kind of stuff is really neat. Soft cotton. So this is a mixture of like that cream white, the warm milk, and I'm going to say a white color. So I'm not going to say it's completely like a cotton ball, but maybe like a creamy cotton ball. A, a pretty color. I also have this to show you on a photo. Southern Biscuit was also popular. Excuse the little wax here. Um, a couple years ago, I was showing a customer. Uh, and she was wanting to know what uh, the gold um, wax would look like with this color. So I kind of use this. 
uh, but this is another popular color that people liked as well. So that's Southern Biscuit. I love these names. It kind of makes you hungry. Okay, Barn Roof. Now this is another of my favorite colors. This looks great on an outside door. I mean, um, this is just beautiful. So it might be a little bit similar to Peppercorn by, um, I think it was Sherwin Williams, but this is a really, and I do have photos of this. Blue Jay, really pretty blue, uh, not too strong, not too light. It's just in the medium, but it's light and it's called Blue Jay. Well Water, another great color, very popular as well. Um, I do have a few pieces that I painted in this color. Wood Fence. So Wood Fence is a, you can see it's brown. So normally I have never painted something all wood fence, but it might have been in my top. Maybe I did a blend, a blending of colors. So that's what I use wood fence for. Um, and I think I did it for a commission piece where it was the top and the frame, but everything else was a different color. But it's a really nice deep brown. And if you don't want to stain something um, and want that kind of dark effect, this is just really pretty on the top, okay? Especially with the warm milk. What a great combo. Creek Bed. Um, this has a little blue hue to it, but it is a gray, but it is a really pretty gray. And I will show you uh, a photo of this because I do have a photo of that. Good old cast iron skillet. I probably have tons of this paint uh, everywhere because I love, love this color. It is like a smooth black. I can't even explain it. Um, it's just a perfect black. And I do have pieces, a picture. I'm not going to go with all the photos, but I'm going to show you whatever I have of these colors, one of each photo. But cast iron skillet is also very popular. Okay, Willow Tree. Sorry about that. I didn't have a sticker, but that's Willow Tree. This is such a beautiful light green, like Willow. I, I, it's just really pretty. I do have photos of this one, too. Sweet Honesty. It's a rosy kind of pink. So, never paint it with it. Um, but, uh, well, I did, I, I painted this, um, it's pretty, it's really pretty. So if you're wanting something pink, um, this color or the kissy face are just really pretty pinks. Butter, butter. So butter, butter is like a yellow mustard kind of top, or maybe like a brown mustard. Um, that's what this color kind of reminds me of. Um, it's rich. I mean, it's a really rich, bright color and... I never painted with this, but now I was putting all these together. I'm like, why never I got that? Why didn't I ever? So many, again, it all depends where you are. If you're selling this furniture, if you're selling in the booth, you know your clientele. You know the, the shoppers, what they're looking for. Not everybody, not every area likes some crazy colors. I wish that I've done more crazy colors. I've done some, but I mean, like really crazy. You know, that's what I like. But not everybody likes that. But hey, if you're painting for yourself, you do what you want to do. Okay, so the next one we got, we got fresh cut grass. And that's exactly what it looks like. Fresh cut grass. Okay, so this one I got a little green on it. Uh, daffodilly. It's a really pretty yellow. Um like a well it's a little darker than your uh, sunny day one but it's really pretty dill pickle that's a really neat green and when I did this I'm like man I wish I had gotten that because I just you know you don't know by even like uh the swab little sheets it's so hard. Um, that's why I thought about this video. I'm like, you get to really see these colors. Um, and they're pretty dead on, you know. This is dream, Dreamsicle. Um, it's another pink, like a different, but it's kind of different. Um, it's between those two other colors, I'm going to say. Now we got June Bug. This is really beautiful. Um just beautiful. I feel bad that I never bought this color, but 
I will be because this is really pretty. Okay, so Midnight Stroll. This right now does not do it justice of what it really looks on a piece of furniture. I've done one of these pieces. Um, well, I did a few in, in this color, but one piece in particular uh, that I did this in had some gold gilding wax. And oh my God, everybody then loved this color. I mean, it was very popular. I was really scared about the blue because not everybody wants that deep blue, um, you know, with their styles and stuff. But this just matches everything. So I will have a photo of Midnight Stroll. Summer Rain. So if you, this is in the, like the greenish family, it's a really light color. Then we got spring rain. So it's just a little darker. And then that one, just a smidge. We got campfire coffee. So it's like, it looks like a chocolate, like a really, I mean, it looks like a chocolate pudding type of, uh, you know, color, but it's campfire coffee. Nice color. Blackberry Cobbler is next. Look at that. Now, see, that's what I'm talking about. Purple. I mean, you could mix a little pink in it, you know, fuchsia, whatever. It'd be so pretty. Uh, but this is a Blackberry Cobbler. Real nice color. Oh, we have a chocolate pudding. So, there's a chocolate pudding. Uh, this is obvious, obviously a little lighter and then this one. So, it's a step down. That I'm gonna, um, That's what I'm going to say. Okay. By the way, guys, what I'm doing right here is not sponsored by BlackBerry. I wanted to share this with you all. I really did because um, this paint deserves it. And um, I want people to try this because you're going to come back to me saying, thank you, Lucy, for ever telling me about this paint, you know. Uh, this is called Skipping Rock. Love this color. Upset that I never used it. So Skipping Rock. Love the names. This is a lot of names you got to come up with. All right. Tire swing. So tire swing is like, I'm going to describe it as a charcoal color, but a, like a darker, I can't, it's not too, too light black. It's not solid black. It's, it's not gray, but it's got, it look, it, it does look like what you see and I'm looking at it. Um, but it, it's, it's a charcoal, like a deep charcoal. It's, it's pretty. It's really, really pretty. Fresh eggs. So here is another, um, color in the white family that they have the colors of, you know, say that like more milk. So this is a little bit more on the white lighter side of whites. Um, and, uh, I do have a photo of this on a piece of furniture and it's just got a little different tone to it. Um, still a nice color. If you like painting your furniture in different white colors, I, I definitely, you know, recommend that you try this white lightning. So this color, even though it's called white lightning, it's got a, like a, a little gray to it. So similar to that silver streak color but not exactly, but it's really, really pretty, really pretty. We're almost done guys. This is all I got left. Sweet potato pie. So it's a really nice deep orange, like a rustic kind of orange, but not too rustic on the lighter side. So this is called sweet potato pie. I'm ready for Thanksgiving. Okay. Another of my favorite. Now, I love teals, you know, and um, I, Hummingbird was like, oh my gosh, I just love, love this color. I do believe I have a piece in this color to show you, but that's Hummingbird. Gorgeous. Another one that I didn't have a sticker for, I apologize, but this is called Baby Bird. I love this blue. It's got a little kind of grayish blue in it. I think any piece of furniture would look lovely in this. I, even like a, a decorative chair, an accent chair, but this is really pretty. We got Milk Pail. Um, this is another popular uh, color, a gray color that was at my stores. People love this color. It is light. It's not too deep. There's no purple hue to it. 
Uh, this is also my favorite color as well. I, I've done a lot of pieces in this color. Good old daddy's tractor. Nice and bright and like a, like a deep red. So if you guys like red, this is a, re I mean, it's a really pretty color. We got home cooked bread. So home cooked bread, um, just let me show you next to the fresh eggs. See that difference of color? So it's kind of, this is the fresh eggs, but if you want to go one step up, and then you're going to probably, you know, go a little, get that color right there for darker. My favorite color, hot cocoa. So I also have a piece out there that I just recently posted on Facebook as well. Hot cocoa is my go-to color. I do a lot of tops with hot cocoa, maybe then more milks on the bottom, or I put them together. I've done, you know, uh, the layering with the wax bar with this. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. Um, it is like a, like a taupe, but in a, I, I can't, ex it's hard to explain. That's why I'm doing this. You know, I hope that you guys can see this and appreciate these beautiful colors. Farmhouse Red. Here's another popular one. I still think red is cool, on, especially on certain pieces of furniture or when you're doing layering red and black, you know, pulling that out or some red and teal, just gorgeous. Maybe add a little brown to it. She has all those colors that you can put all that together and you can layer and layer and layer. I mean, I've done it. I've done like one with, I think it was eight colors of layers. So don't be afraid to layer. We got sunflowers, a bright, very pretty yellow. So it's a little step up you know, a way more step up than the, um, than the sunny day one. We got tin roof. It looks just like a tin roof. I love this gray too. I believe I do have a photo of this one too. There's a lot. I didn't say I have photo, but I have a lot. I, I will put that together, but this is tin roof. Blue bonnet. So this is another really pretty blue. Not as deep as the Sunday suit one. So if you don't want to go that dark, then you probably will go with a blue bonnet. Blowing smoke. So this is now charcoal. If you can see that, it is like a charcoal. Excuse me, guys, with my nails. They are a mess. I haven't done them. So this is more like a charcoal color. Gathering basket. I When I painted this, I was like, man, I wish I had bought that color because that is gorgeous this is it's not a sage but it could be mixed with a little eucalyptus if you can see that it is so pretty so pretty again if you like these colors you're like oh i don't know don't forget you can buy a little tester you can get that um the, um, what's that call it? The six ouncer. You don't have to go big and then maybe decide like, yeah, this is what I want. Uh, cream corn. Another color that I wish that I had. I never bought this. I never did it because of all the other yellows I had. And by the way, you can mix for pink colors, you know, where you can create your own colors. So, um, I just never, I, I will get this. I have to get this because this will look so cool on furniture. Pink grapefruit, exactly what it sounds like. Pink grapefruit, it's a really, really pretty color. And the last one is orange marmalade. This is a beautiful orange. So I know we had an orange earlier. Let me just show you the difference in the color. So sweet potato pie and this one. So do you see the difference? Darker, like this is, if you want orange, like this is, this is the color. All right, guys. Well, that is 55 colors that I just went through. Okay. I do want to send a big thank you to Polly from Blackberry House Paint. Thank you so much for 
giving me a 15% off coupon to my customers and my followers. I appreciate it so much and I love your paint and I want people to know about it. So guys, again, wait till the end. Um, I am putting this video in different platforms. So I'm going to remind everybody, continue to follow Reva Chic. If you don't, please follow Reva Chic. We also have an Instagram account at Reva underscore Chic and my YouTube channel uh, at Reva Chic. So hopefully you guys can subscribe. It is free uh, on my channel. I do post videos of little tips and tricks and all that kind of stuff. Please visit also the Facebook page. My Square site is on there with the classes that I'm offering. And I've got some other classes uh, coming up um, as well. The uh, I My customers spoke and I'm, I listened. Um, so I've got some still final things to do about recorded uh, classes instead of going uh, live, like say on the, the Google Meets. So that is still in the works. But please, guys, make sure that you visit the products at Blackberry House Paint. Uh, you will not be disappointed. Um, I'm telling you, you, you just won't. And the colors are just so rich. But make sure that you keep your eye out because I will be doing another video with some of the paints that I, any paint color that I have that we talked about here, and if I did them, I have them. I'm, I, I have a lot. So I will be putting another video out there so that you can actually see it live. But in the meantime, don't wait because I want you guys to try this paint. I, I'm serious. And I, I want your feedback too. I, I want to know what, what, what you think about it. And there's, like I said, there's other products. There's so many other things uh, there. And they're so helpful. If you have any questions, you can email them. Also, too, a lot of the products that I use uh, as well. And if you have messaged me and stuff, but also working it and, you know, uh, not to get, you know, uh, paint strokes and all that kind of stuff. Those are for, that's classes. So, but the paint itself, if you're experienced, if you just started, you're a beginner, it, maybe you painted a few pieces, guys, you guys need to try this paint. And it took me how many years right now to share this, that this is the paint. Now, don't get me wrong. I still go back to chalk paint. And um, I love using chalk paint uh, when I do um, blending, certain blending of colors. Or maybe that certain piece deserves a little bit of that. And also, you know, um, a Benjamin Moore Advanced Paint, if you're going to go to the the other level of maybe spraying or even just using it on your furniture because of durability. But you will see when you put this on there that on your furniture, it is like putting on cabinet paint. Um, again, it's very, very easy to use. It's user friendly, I'm going to say. Um, it cleans up with water if you, you know, if you need it to. So guys, thank you so much for your time. I, I feel relieved that we went over this and it's out, but have fun painting, have fun painting something beautiful. And I hope that you really give um, Blackberry House Paint a try uh, because like I said, you're, you're really not going to regret it. And I will be showing you photos of the pieces in the past um, and just recent and wherever I go, I, like I told you, I, I, I painted and sold thousands of pieces. So, but thank God everything is like labeled and I can easily find them. So I can't wait to show those pictures to you so that you guys can see some of these uh, colors in action. Well, I hope you guys have a great day and continue to follow Reva Chic, whatever platform you're using. And I will then see you all soon. Bye.